Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Boone once again um, after several months of sort of just being where? That's the question um, I hope to answer in this video. Um, if you're watching this and you watch some of my older videos, I just want to thank you for sticking around because I think it's been since January or February or March or something since the last upload. Um, yeah, truth be told, um, during like the later parts of the winter, I was feeling a little depressed and I was lacking motivation. Um, so making YouTube videos, I tried to a couple times to sit down and and pick a topic and start talking, but just actually getting the camera set up, even though my setup's quite low quality, and sitting down and talking and producing something that I felt deserved to be on the internet or that actually had like a purpose was kind of hard. I didn't really have the energy or the motivation for it, especially since my equipment isn't great. Um, I felt in order to actually upload something, I needed, you know, to as a way of justifying my low quality setup, I needed to really have a topic um, that mattered and, and something to say that mattered and, you know, feeling kind of depressed and not being in the best place mentally. That just wasn't really, that wasn't really a, an option. It wasn't feeling like that was available. Um, but I'm happy to say that over the last few months, um, since like March to now, I've been really spending time working on myself um, and getting some important things done that I needed to be doing. And I'm doing much better mentally now. My mental health is better than it has been in um, a long time. And uh, I thought, you know, it's been long enough and I wanted to just sit down in front of the camera and talk to people. Um, I wouldn't be here making this video. I, like, I wouldn't be sitting here right now with the motivation if it weren't for all of you because I was looking at my YouTube channel and people are still commenting, um, specifically on my trans lesbian uh, video, the first video I uploaded on this channel. Um, it seems to really have resonated with a lot of people and I just can't tell you how happy that makes me. Um, that's why I wanted to start making YouTube videos in the first place. I know very few trans lesbians and, you know, I think just in general, the more trans women we have making YouTube videos, putting content online, telling their stories, um, <clears throat> the more ex exposure we're getting, the better. Um, especially when we're producing our own exposure and um, explaining our own experiences the way we want them to be told and not having to go through <clears throat> other sources um, and dealing with whatever kind of bias or whatever. Um, so yeah, what what has been going on with me? That's what I want to talk about um, quite a lot, actually, <clears throat> excuse me, in the last few months. And so I wanted to just sit down and kind of go through it uh, all with you because it's been an exciting past like four or five months. Um, and so, yeah, the first thing that's kind of been consuming a lot of my time for the last basically half a year has been bottom surgery. Uh, and that's going to be probably the the main clickbait of this video. And it's, it's not actually clickbait because it's a real thing that's happening. Um, on July 1st, I had my consultation for gender confirmation surgery. Um, I had to travel a little ways to get there. Um, I'm not going to reveal my location in this video. I want to stay private about the surgeon I've talked to and all of that. But I made that trip with my parents and it went really, really well. Um, as for those of you who don't know, I'm 17. I'm turning 18 in a few months. And uh, basically, to summarize the appointment, once my insurance goes through and they have that all approved, I will be able to schedule the surgery and uh, it will just have to be sometime after November. My birthday's in November, um, so uh, realistically, probably the new year. Um, my goal is winter break. If it has to be pushed back to the spring, you know, it'd be a little disappointing, but not the end of the world. It's just, it feels really, really great to have actually had the appointment and sat down with the surgeon, d did the consult, and everything went really well. It, um, alleviated a lot of anxieties for me and I'm just really looking forward to moving forward because it has been a long time coming. I mean, this is a surgery that I've wanted ever since I knew it exists. Um, probably about nine years ago is when I found out about it. And um, yeah, so finally I got that done and it felt amazing. Um, hopefully, like I said, looking at maybe December, January, maybe a few months longer, but 
it, it feels very soon to me. That to me feels very exciting because it's been such a process getting the letters from therapists. And like I said, with my mental health kind of struggling, there was anxiety for a little while about whether or not I was actually going to get two therapists to sign off on it. Um, but I've been doing a lot of work on myself and working through the bumps in the road. And I was able to get that with relative ease, you know, after, after a little while. And so everything's looking really good for that. And I'm feeling very fortunate and happy about that. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about, the second biggest thing on my mind this summer, um, I just graduated. I graduated last month in June. Um, so I'm out of high school now and, uh, I'm going to be going to a four-year university starting in September. Um, uh, and it's kind of, you know, it's very exciting. Um, I'm going to be taking acting classes and theater classes uh, and trying to major in theater because my dream is to be a voice actor. I don't know. I haven't really talked about that much on this channel, but I mentioned it in my 15 facts about me video. Um, and I was really back and forth for the last like year and year or two about whether or not I wanted to take a gap year, whether or not I wanted to go to school. I was actually pretty adamant for quite some time about not going to university after high school, and I was definitely looking forward to taking a break. Um, but my parents encouraged me to just sort of make the applications anyway, and then whether or not I decide to go, the options open. And um, now that I've kind of figured out something I really want to do and some classes that I've looked at that actually really excite me, I'm definitely looking forward to going in the fall. Um, you know, it's a two-term situation, so uh, the winter term or the spring term or whatever... I will probably be taking off to get the surgery because it's obviously a pretty decent recovery time and it's not really realistic that I could do both. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a great opportunity for me to start in the fall, take some classes I'm really excited about and see how I like it. Um, hopefully I'll enjoy it and it will go well. And then after surgery, I'll have all of the summer to recover and get back on my feet and then start working again and whatever, work in the summer, make some money, and then go back to school the next fall if um, if all goes well. So those are pretty much the main two things that have been happening in my life. Um, and they've been taking up a lot of time, you know, um, so it hasn't been easy to kind of find a time to actually sit down and get everything out of the way and talked about on this channel just because it's all been kind of disorganized in my mind. I've been running around writing emails and making phone calls for the surgery, and I'm actually in the process of getting my gender marker changed right now. Um, I just took my learner's permit test, so now I have my learner's permit for driving, um, and I've been practicing driving, which has been really fun. So there's lots going on. Um, to summarize, I've just been adulting. I've been learning how to <laughs> become a young adult, and it's going to be more important once I get surgery and once I start school, and I'm just going to have to be balancing a lot of things. Um, but it is summer right now, and I'm not working too much, which is kind of nice. Like, obviously, I want to be making money, but I'm also happy to just sort of be taking time for myself, enjoying the nice weather, walking around, and just kind of spending some time with friends and, and relaxing. Because I know, I know when fall comes, things are going to be a little more hectic, pretty stressful for a while. But, you know, with surgery coming up and, and it's feeling like such a, a surefire thing. It is, you know, once the insurance comes through, it should be pretty soon. We can start scheduling that. And it's just really helped me kind of have something to look forward to. So when things are stressful, I just sort of think about that and, and I just can't tell you how excited I am. Um, and yeah, that's the main thing I think that, um, that has driven, it's been a combination of the nice comments and really inspiring comments that you all have been leaving on my older videos and the fact that I'm going to be getting this surgery, I really want to document it. Um, I want to get a better camera, like a more portable camera, or maybe even just a new phone. So it, I don't think it has to be the most high quality thing ever. I want to just get raw footage of me in recovery if possible and just document the experience and what it's genuinely like for me as much as possible. Um, there are definitely a few YouTubers, there's quite a few YouTubers out there who have done that. Um, Chloe Arden recently got the surgery. She has a couple YouTube videos on it. Um, AJ Clementine also has some, um, I'm trying to think who else, uh, if I think of some more, I'll link them in the description. Um, but there can always, there's always room for more because everyone has a different experience with the surgery, um, with different surgeons in different places at different ages and just different bodies. So, 
I really want, you know, as I'm moving forward in my life with all these new things happening, my phone, my uh, computer screen just turned on, but with all these, <laughs> with all these new things happening, um, I'm feeling very excited about the future and I want to share it with you. I want to be another trans voice on the internet um, to help just kind of put my experiences and feelings out there because I think that's important, especially for younger trans people. And, you know, if you are a younger trans girl or a trans guy or someone who identifies outside of the binary watching this video, I hope that the stuff I produce on this channel can mean something for you and can be a source of information or just exposure or or just entertainment because I that's something that I've needed a lot in my life and if I can kind of give that back that would make me super happy so that's pretty much it for what's been going on it's quite a lot and you know honestly there's more there's more than I can really fit into one video and I don't want to make this too long but um I would love to hear from you uh, if you guys have ideas of what you want to see for me in the future before the surgery, uh, maybe talking about my, my feelings toward it, or, um, I know a couple people mentioned me doing a video about talking about my experiences, trying to change my voice and stuff to sound more feminine. Um, I'm open to anything. It can be trans related. It could be not trans related. It could be videos about cartoons. It could be videos about really anything. I just want to kind of get a sort of vlog style thing going on in the next few months. So, uh, I can develop a relationship with my audience more before I start blogging and documenting the more intimate parts of my life with surgery and stuff. Um, so yeah, please let me know what interests you. Leave a comment for any question you might have, or just if you feel like saying hi. Um, thank you to everyone who's stuck around and is watching this video right now. It means so much to me, and I will see you hopefully very soon. Bye.